So today uh, we're at the Museum of Science and Industry. We've been hosting Brain Attack, which is part of the Science Stroke Art series of events. And today's been something very different for us. We've been really engaging the public, but around the science, about what happens in the brain when people have a stroke. We've been working especially with neuroscientist Stuart Allen, who's been dissecting sheep brains today and explaining to people how the brain works. Uh, we've had students and lecturers from the speech and language therapy department talking to people about how we communicate and how people communicate generally. I would wholeheartedly recommend that they do this again every single year if they can. Um, it's been such an innovative and interesting way of getting the public involved and just learning about the fundamental basics really about having a stroke and, and how it impacts on people's lives but also getting people to know a little bit more about the neuroscience side of it as well so yeah it's been a, a really good mix of skills I think. And then we've had art organisation here as well, Nelly Globe, who've been working with people to create pieces of artwork based on their senses. But what we've done today, we've basically um, we had some um, luggage tags, we had some key, key points on the luggage tags with regard to the exhibition, based on, on how the brain functions, so things we see, how things smell, um, how things look. People have, allowed, uh, have, have gone around the exhibition, looked at key points on that luggage tag and come up with um, produ producing their own postcard. It's kind of uh, started people to talk about stroke and think about stroke almost by stealth. So they're introducing the uh, concept of what can happen in the brain and ultimately what can happen when someone has a stroke, but all uh, focused on talking more generally about how the brain works. So this brain is to show, um, actually in this part of the brain you have uh, the, uh, uh, what a stroke, uh, an oblique stroke, so the blockage of an artery will cause to the brain and here it's an hemorrhagic stroke, so it's actually clogged forming into the, uh, into the brain and how this will uh, damage the brain. So we, that's what we're trying to explain to the public today. Excellent. Yeah, Absolutely it's, it's excellent. Education, so you can look at like a, a brain physically. It's rather than imagine it, it's right there in front of you. So we're looking at a sheep's brain, so it's very interesting. And you can touch it too. Okay. <laughs> Not wishing to be gory. We've learned all about it before as well about how, how it blocks the brain, and you've got a four and a half hour window after uh, it actually strikes to be able to actually repair the damage that's been done. Uh, so like a really short window, and you have to get into hospital as soon as possible. I've been volunteering for nearly 20 years, or about 20 years now, and as I say, I, th I, I thought I had a very good understanding of stroke. I now understand what's going on in, the, in, the, in their brains, and it's actually given me some really good ideas as the kind of things that we could use in our communication support. But I've had many comments from people how wonderful it is to come in, have their blood pressure checked, have a look at what's going on inside the brain and to really enjoy and the children of those it's absolutely wonderful to be cutting sheep's brains in slices. It's been a, a wonderful experience. Well, it's been great having Brain Attack here at the Museum of Science and Industry as part of our Contemporary Science Programme platform for investigation. Um, it's been a really exciting day for our visitors. They've been getting hands-on with science, doing the brain dissections, and then really engaging with all the different uh, groups that have come to share their stories and the research that's being done into stroke. So it's been a really popular event, and um, it's been a great uh, success.